Moving on, the temperate Solitia, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Susie Nuclear Campbell. one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. And I think we can all agree that this will be no easy match for her. Amataya is at least an easy all match. alone tonight without Amanda Robinson or the Disciples of Darkness at ringside like usual. Susie Nukes has made a name for herself over the last few years. Former Women's International Champ, former Ladies Trio Champion as leader of Team Nuclear, and that nasty feud with Titania Tatiana. Over the summer at Sweet Revenge, how do you like Galatea's odds here, Johnny? Well, she doesn't compete often enough. Her performance is spotty, but she does compete. So given Susie Campbell's resume, you've heard of snowmen in hell, right? And hey, coming up after this match, we're gonna have the Jumping Bomb Angels in the house for a tag team match with the rest of Team Nuclear, Pam Parsons, and Jacob, Jessica Cooper. It's gonna be lit, so stick around. It really has been a great card so far. There's the bell, and here we go. We're all along for the ride on this one, but make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. Rightfully so, Bowling Green has been buzzing ever since this match was announced. <laughs> what is in Campbell's mind right now? You've seen her train and compete, so tell us what we can expect from her. I love tag team. I love Royal Rumbles, and I love all the rest of them, but there's something basic and awesome about two superstars battling one-on-one. -on -one. I do expect her to show her opponent and the rest of the WWE that she's going to be someone to reckon with for a long time to come. Drop like a bad habit. before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Up and over with a suplex. Campbell on the defensive. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. Well done. Putting it all on the line. I see where she's going with this. I think she should stay down. Talk about dominating the action. Galloretto looking a little shaken. Though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Guys, this is where all that self-respect she has pays off. 
Sure, she's taken on some offense, but she's confident enough in her game to bounce back. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. She's calling for it. I don't think she should challenge her. Look at this. Trying for something else here. Pretty impressive transition, if you ask me. And it's reversed. She got her with a reversal. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. And she turns it around on her. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. On the shoulders here, and it could be a long way down from there. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Galaretto in some trouble here. If she's not careful, she's going to find herself in some serious trouble here. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off some of this offense, and quickly. This ref can't do his job. Let's get one in there that can. Nice elbow drop there. Nine. That one was off the mark. Awful. Just plain awful. Ten. Executed Eleven. perfectly. Twelve. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. A wild overhead punch wreaking havoc in here. Dropped by a clothesline. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about, just a little misstep on her part. She can end it here. Fighting to get back to her feet here. She's just taking too long, Cole. She's got to move faster. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. When she gets in attack mode, look out. And she delivers a huge power bomb. She might have it. There it is, the Uranagi. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. This could end it in a hurry. Perfectly timed slam. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. This should do it right there. One, two, three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner, Sue Z. Campbell. A big singles victory here tonight. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. how we sum up. Galatea performed better than usual. I'll give her that all day long. But it wasn't enough to keep Susie Campbell down long enough for the three count. And after Susie nails a pair of meltdown suplexes, that was all she wrote for the temptress, Babs. And you were right, TV. Galatea really didn't have a chance in this one. Susie Nix just has way too much going for her in that ring. not competing on the same level at all. All right, friends, we'll be back in a minute with that ladies' tag match Babs alluded to. Don't go away. You